Hi everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Alex. And yesterday in our fun facts, we learned that pilots or people in the military, um, they use special codes or way of speaking over the radio. Or it doesn't have to necessarily just be um, pilots or military people, it can just be anyone when you're trying to speak to each other over the radio. Right, because you want to make sure that the other per person understands exactly what you mean. And the example we got first was Roger, which means you have received the message. Mm -hmm. And they use Roger because it stands for the letter R, and it makes um, it more clear to say Roger instead of R because we learned that um, you know some letters in the English alphabet sound similar. Right. So, so by spelling it out as words, it cuts down the confusion so mm -hmm. um, people understand it better. And that's why they created these codes or these way of speaking instead. Right. And we learned that these codes come from the 1940s, during World War II, when people in the military had to speak over the radio a lot, and they needed to make sure there was no confusion. Mm -hmm. All right, now we learned about a lot of different phrases yesterday. We learned over and out, we learned Wilco, standby. Right. There's a lot more like SOS, and I think you mentioned one earlier as well. 10 which is a, a police radio code. Mm -hmm. So there's so many other expressions and phrases. And here's another familiar phrase that we're going to learn about today. So let's find out what the history and what the story behind it is. <laughs> 